Hello, in this video, we're going to go over how to get your Altium designer product uh, properly exported and submitted to the BYU Electrical and Computer Engineering Shop so that you can move on to a PCB and stop using that pesky breadboard. For this, I'm just going to be using one of the sample boards provided by Altium when you first download the software. The first thing we're going to do is actually get the dimensions of the board. Uh, the reason for that will become apparent when we're actually submitting our design. There are two ways to do it. One is a quick and dirty way that is perfectly suitable for the shop. You just come up here to reports, measure distance. You align your crosshairs with the edge of the board from one spot to another. You're welcome to just press escape because it saves the measurement up here. And then you do it again for your other dimension. So we can see that this board is 112 by 65 millimeters. Um, school. And then the better way to do it, if you're actually developing a report for someone, again, you come up to reports, board information. You can click on other stuff like copper area, non-plated through hole, but we're just going to leave it at board specifications, press report, and it will format a nice little printout for you. And again, we see 112 by 65 millimeters. You will need that when you're actually submitting your board on our website. Now, to get the correct files, it's pretty easy. You're going to stay on this same PCB doc. Come up here to File, Fabrication Outputs, Gerber X2. Now, for the shop, all you're going to need is this profile. Include the top or the bottom. That include that is are the layers that actually have all the routing information. Um, we can only do single or double-sided boards in the shop. If you want a silk screen, which is the uh, layer that actually tells you which component is which before you've soldered them on, you're welcome to include the legend. Um, it let the silk screens and a double-sided board do cost more, but that's up to you. Um, so profile, the routing information, silk screen, and then be sure to come down here and make sure that these are checkmarked as well. Non-plated through holes. These are typically things like mounting holes. Um, and then plated through holes is going to be pretty much everything else. So everything that you're actually going to solder to. Make sure this is set to millimeters. Make sure the decimal is set to this guy. If you're using the extension .gbr. And then you can press apply. Alternatively, you can just come down here, plot layers, use selected. It's going to generate a lot of extra information. So we prefer that you don't do that, but it is accepted. You just press apply. It goes through and you see this loading bar creates this camtastic.cam file. We don't care about that. All we care about is what's in this folder, this generated folder. You'll notice it popped up. It wasn't there before. Camtastic documents. These .gbrs, these are what we want. Specifically at the shop, we're looking at your drill, your profile, your top and bottom layers. They're all there. There they are. So you're going to right click and you're going to press explore. This will open up the GUI. And from here, you can either control all and export to zip, compress to zip, or you can go up a layer and then just compress that one to a zip file. This is what you're going to actually submit when you go down to this website. If this website happens to change in the future, we'll change to the description down in the video or make a brand new video at that time. Um, this is what that website looks like. Mine is a little bit different because I have different permissions um, as a shop technician. What you're gonna wanna look for when submitting your files is PCB mill request. So just click on that. Here you actually browse and you find your folder. 
There we go. Open. Or I guess I should say zip. You want to make sure that you upload the zip file. You can't upload a folder. Here we go back to that getting board dimensions that we looked at earlier. We measured 112 by 65 millimeters. That is just shy of 8,000 square millimeters and is just a little bit more than 11 square inches. Um, we are working on it to so that it accepts more than just square inches, but for now, we'll just have to do that conversion. Um, if you do have a board that is double-sided or you want that silk screen, again, it is more expensive than just the standard board, but just press this advanced button and then click one of these two, whichever one you want. Unfortunately, we cannot do both. If there's anything else you want to say about your board, I want a funny joke on the receipt. None of our jokes are funny, they're all corny, but you get the point. You can type it in here, and then down at the bottom, just press submit. These check marks are just asking whether you have gone through our design rules and whether you've gone through the correct process of getting the correct .gbr Gerber files. Yes, I can verify. This is for class. Submit. Your request has been submitted. We will email you when your job is finished and you will pay so that you can pay and pick it up. Additionally, we will also email you if there's any issues with your uh, submitted boards or if we have any questions. And you can check that under my requests. So I'll show that to you real quick. You press my requests. Here's the one that I just submitted. So in here I can cancel the request. I can edit it if I make changes to my board um, and we haven't started working on it yet. Or this one was unsubmitted by a tech for an unknown reason. I got an email about it. Click show commentary. Sample note made by a shop tech. Okay, well, we'll give you more helpful information if we have to submit it back, if we have to unsubmit it to you um, because there was a problem. Hope that helps in submitting your PCBs. Um, good luck.